Hi friends. Hey, I'm wondering today, what is your favorite book of the Bible? Like as you think about the Bible from start to finish, what is that one book of the Bible that kind of has become a go-to book for you? It kind of rises to the surface. Maybe what you'll do is you'll you'll mention it in the comments and tell us why. For me, my favorite book of the Bible has been the book of 1 Peter. 20 years ago, a mentor of mine challenged me to memorize the entire book from start to finish. I don't think I can get through chapter 1, so I'm not even going to try. But over the years, it's become a favorite book for me. One of the reasons it's a favorite book of the Bible for me is because the Peter we meet when we come to this letter is not at all like the Peter we are introduced to in the Gospels. God has, God has changed him. God has transformed him re- remarkably. And, and that gives me hope that, that God, by his grace, is transforming me like he transformed the Apostle Peter. But the other reason that this book has become a favorite book for, for me is because Peter has some rich encouragements for Christians, and particularly those who are suffering, and he kind of goes at it right out of the gate. He's, he, he has in view the church that has been scattered throughout Asia Minor, which is the country of Turkey now. <clears throat> and he calls them foreigners. Now, he, he doesn't call them foreigners particularly because they're citizens of another country. He calls them foreigners because they're citizens of another realm. They're citizens of a kingdom that is not of this world. They're, they're strangers in a strange land. And, and maybe we feel a little bit of that even today, in this time that we're living in, this is a strange season. We, we know in a gut level that we weren't made for isolation. We weren't made for fearful living. Well, Peter has some encouragement for us throughout the entire book. But right here at the beginning, he levels these four truths about us that I want to remind us of. In verse 2, He says, God the Father knew you and chose you long ago. And his spirit has made you holy. As a result, you have obeyed him. And you have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, did you catch those four encouragements, those four things that are true about you? I'll I'll, I'll mention them again. God chose you from, 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 from long ago. God's Spirit has made you holy. He's sanctifying you. And because of these things, you've chosen to obey Him on certain levels. And you've been cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, I hope those things, those truths, that you can settle into those, you can live into those today, and even in in, in these coming days, because they're true. Peter wraps up this greeting and he just simply says, May God give you more and more grace and peace. Indeed, may he give you more and more grace and peace today. We love you. God bless you guys.